Hello and welcome to the Fashion Capital Fabric Studio and our online shop. Today's video is all about making a tote bag. A useful bag for going shopping, taking to the beach, putting your laptop in. Um, we've made a nice big cheerful one for great for summer and chosen some yellow cotton fabric for the top part of the bag and some blue fabric for the bottom part of the bag and to jazz it up a little bit we've got some nice sequins so step one is to make a pattern for the bag of course the bag can be any size you like but this one we've chosen to make 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters which gives a nice um, big bag to use for shopping or for the beach so the first step is to draw a square 50 centimetres by 50 and then to add one centimetre all the way around and that will become your seam allowance. When that one's done, you need to make a smaller piece which will form the contrast. And this one we've chosen to make 20 centimetres, again plus the seam allowance on all four sides and that will form our contrast at the base of the bag and it'll also make the bag a bit stronger because the bag will then be double fabric at the bottom and then the last piece that we need here is going to be for the strap and um, the strap that is 50, 60 centimeters long plus the seam allowance and that's long enough to make a bag that will hang over your shoulder so first of all we're going to cut out the main piece of the bag and to do that, we're going to fold the fabric in half to, and line it up nicely at the side so everything's nice and straight because we need a pair, one side for the front and one side for the back of the bag. When you're cutting anything out, it's really important that you line your pattern piece up square with the edge of the fabric and then that way everything will hang nice and straight and square and it won't stretch and contort all over the place. So I'm just cutting along the edge of my pattern. So that's the first piece, the main part of the bag. And then I can use this piece for my straps. Now I'm going to take a contrast fabric and cut the lower part of the bag. That's a pair of contrast pieces. And then the last piece to cut is the strap. And that's going to be one pair out of the main fabric, which is our yellow. And I've just got enough there. And there's the straps. So this bag has a lining which is in the same fabric as the contrast. You could use a different one, print or stripe, might be nice. And the point of the lining is it makes the bag nice and tidy inside and it also makes it much stronger because you've got now you've got two layers. So it'll make a nice professional looking bag. So the next step is going to be to cut out the lining. And you've already got the pattern piece for this. It's exactly the same as the outside of the bag, but without the contrast. So just the 50 centimeter square with the seam allowances. Before we start stitching, we're going to cut the sequin trim. And that's two pieces the length of the contrast of the bag. So that was the 50 centimeters plus a couple of centimeters extra at each side. 
Now we're going to add the sequin trim to the bag. I'm going to draw a guideline on my fabric which will be hidden in the bottom contrast part of the bag here. So I've drawn a line and then I'm going to pin the tape along it, keeping the sequins out of the way. So now I'm going to sew along the tape and the special foot here is going to hold my tape down on this side but keeping this side empty so the sequins can just do their own thing as we go through. So just starting off at the end, I'm just going to slowly go along step by step just pushing the sequins out of the way and there's step one completed. So now we're going to apply the blue uh, contrast bottom contrast part of the bag and so I'm going to put this and then I can line it up with the bottom of the black tape here and I'm going to pin it and as I go I'm just going to be careful to make sure all the sequins are pushed backwards nice and flat and just check that all the sequins are out of the way lying down nice and flat and then that's done now I'm going to stitch now I'm going to make another row of stitching to join the blue on so using the edge of the foot as a guide and I'm trying to keep in a nice straight line I'm just going to take it slowly and join the contrast part of the bag and this will also cover up the sequin tape and then there's the sequins all neatly applied now we stitch the trim and the contrast panel on with the half foot Now I'm going to sew the back and the front of the bag together. So with the right sides together and the wrong sides on the outside and making a one centimeter seam allowance, I'm going to stitch right round the edge of my bag. So just starting off with a few stitches backwards and forwards. I'm going to stitch round the bag. And finishing off at the end. This is what it should look like now, stitched all the way around the edge with the one seam, centimeter seam allowance and then you can just trim off the extra trim at the edge and then when you turn it all inside out you've got a nice neat bag looking good already. You just need to make the corners to make the boxy part at the bottom. But first we have to do the lining. Well, the next step is sewing the lining. So pin the two pieces together lining up the notches and this time we're not going to stitch all the way around we're going to leave a gap of about 10 centimeters in the bottom of the bag to pull the lining through once the bag is finished. So I'm going to stitch around here to my pin here and then I'm going to start here at the next notch and I'm going to stitch around to the top. Notch. Finish off. Skip to the next notch. You can cut the threads afterwards. again pivot 
and stitch the final side. And finish at the end. And there's the lining. And then you can snip the threads where you left the bagging out gap. And there's the lining with the gap in the bottom. Next we're going to make the straps. So we've got a pair of straps, one for each side. And these are going to fold in half long ways with the right side of the fabric in the inside because we're going to turn them inside out. The next thing we're going to do is to make these box corners which makes the bag a much more capacious shape for carrying your shopping in. Um, so the way we're going to do this is to take the corner like this and pull the two sides apart making sure that you've caught both the um, inner layer and the contrast section. And then, so it doesn't get too thick to sew, we're going to open these seams out flat. So I'm going to now put a pin through the seams, making sure everything is nice and lined up, which it is now. And then I can flatten all this out like that. So you've got a, a triangle there with the seam flat on both sides. And now I'm going to measure from the point of the triangle five centimeters. You can draw on this with a pencil um, or a pen because this will be hidden inside the bag. And five centimeters and then I'm going to make a line across and just put a couple more pins in to hold everything nice and flat and I'm going to do that on all four corners and I'm going to do the same thing on the corners of the lining this will be easier because it's just one layer so Flatten out the seam. You can press this as well, is a good idea at this point. And flatten it out like that so you've got a triangle. Pin it through the seam just to make sure it's nice and straight. And then measure five centimeters from the corner down each side. and make a line and two and now onto the main bag now we've practiced in the lining Then when you turn that inside out, you should have a 
nice square corner in the bottom of your bag. You can either leave those triangles in or you can trim them off. With nice square corners. And I just trim these off. inside of the bag and the bigger you make the triangles the wider the box at the bottom of the bag will be so there's the lining with the hole in the bottom which everything's going to be pulled through when we put the lining into the bag so using the notches at the top of the bag as a guide or if you've forgotten to make the notches, measure in fourteen centimeters and line up the inside side of the strap with the notch and put in the pin. And the same on the other side. Make sure when you do this that the strap isn't twisted. In. and then we can repeat on the other side. And now the bag has handles and is all... Oh, that's good. So the next step is called bagging out, bagging out the bag. So here we've got the top layer of the bag folded to the right side, so it's the right way around. And then we've got the lining also folded so that the front side of the right side of the lining is facing the right side of the outer bag. It's important to get those right. So on the inside, you've got seam allowance sticking out here and seam allowance sticking out here. And then just pin around carefully, matching the side seams and you can open those up flat. It's a good idea to press around these seams before you do this section. And then just flattening it out as you go. You could put some pins where the straps come and the straps need to be hanging down nice and flat inside the bag. And then you'll see how nice they look when we turn it out. So a pin there, maybe another one here. Again, if you put the pins going this way, one through the strap here, and one through the strap here, and just put a lock for one in the middle. And then I'm going to stitch all the way around before I turn the whole thing inside out. And make sure you've taken out all the pins. There's always one left behind. And now the bag looks like this, all ready to be turned inside out. And this is why you left the hole at the bottom, because now we're going to pull the bag through the hole and fingers crossed this is called bagging out there we are. And there's the inside of the bag and the outside of the bag. And then this little bit, you can either stitch by hand or you can just put it together like this. And 
digital place to the edge. sewing machine and this is the same principle if you're putting a lining in a bag or an overcoat. And the last little bit fits. And then top everything down inside. There it is, all ready to go to the beach. I hope you enjoyed our little bag making video. Um, just remember, you don't have to do the trim. You can make it all the same color without the um, second color here if you want to. We've got, you can make it all different sizes. This one's a more sober brown one, would be great for your laptop or your iPad. Um, with a print lining, um, so lots of different shapes and sizes, lots of different fabrics would work well. And if you've got any questions on making this bag, please contact us via the link below.